Hello and welcome to the final segment in our virtual learning series focusing on the spring term 2015 on courses that are being taught here uh, that engage students in their world. And today I'm with John Erickson who's recently now an uh, associate professor, yes. newly tenured of, of physics and engineering, um, to talk about his spring term course in physics and perception of music. Yep. So welcome. Thank you, John. Well, thanks a lot for having me. Yeah, can you tell us a little bit more about your course and the topic and how, how it interested you? And Sure, yeah. So uh, physics and music is basically an exploration of physical properties that explain what we hear and why we hear what we hear. Yeah. And it basically started out of a, a universal love of music. Yeah. So I grew up playing drums for a while. Right. And then I switched to piano, ironically, when I broke my fingers in high school. Oh, gosh. <laughs> So you couldn't continue that part of your career? Uh, well, I, I actually started playing left-handed because my right hand was broken. And wow. it got so serious for me that I kept playing all the way through college. Oh, wow. And yeah. studied with a, a professor all the way through college. And Excellent. Played a senior concerto, um, yeah. good old Gershwin's Rhapsody in Blue. Excellent. So um, Along with being a physics major as well. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, I was a physics well, major. Undergrad. Love the liberal arts, right? <laughs> Indeed, still do. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I've always perceived there's just a universal love of music among anybody across space and time, whether it's mm -hmm. um, rap, it could be reggae, bluegrass, mm -hmm. rock, anything, you name it. Sure. And so the idea was basically, first of all, just the love of music to share and also love of physics to share. Yeah, good. And um, it's this fairly easy buy to hope for students who are often the population I get is sometimes the ones who have their only science. Sure. And that's what I was going to ask. ask. So this class is um, a mix of students, I would imagine, from different mm -hmm. backgrounds and different interests. Can you say a little bit more about sort of who's in the class and what that makeup is? Sure, yeah. Uh, typically, I see quite a few music majors because mm -hmm. they've got the intrinsic interest. Sure, sure. And lots of econ majors, uh, accounting majors, English majors, pretty much anybody out of the sciences. Sure, um, yeah. And just generally people who love music as well. Right, right. And do you think that that, that, that changes the way the conversation or the way in which they work together, sort of coming from different backgrounds? Do you, or do you think that changes the nature of the course based on having different interests come yeah. in? Um, yeah. Yes and no. Yes, yeah. yes and, and, and many good ways. So yeah. they're all a little bit allergic to science to start <laughs> off with. <laughs> right, right, yeah. And so they're in this, you know, this group dynamic where they're all in it together, all being a little bit nervous, yeah. all getting through it. Good, um, And good. I often find just sort of cross-pollinating across disciplines. Sure. They think in different ways. Right. And they've got own expertise. Yeah, yeah. And they all share that with each other. Good, excellent. And so what, you know, and this being spring term, are there things that you can do in this class in terms of the, you know, the, what the day looks like, what the week looks like that you couldn't do in another term? Yeah, so I... A couple of things that come to mind, there's some field trips that we do toward uh -huh. the end of the term after the main um, sure. science part is integrated. Yeah. So we take a trip out to David and Linda Krantz's house. Okay. And David's a wonderful guy who's sort of a hub of music at Lexington right. University piano tuner. He has a wonderful collection of instruments from all over mm -hmm. the world. Yeah. And so we get to take a full tour and really talk a lot about the history of the instruments, where they came from, right. how they developed over time. Uh, Basically, develop an appreciation for the wide array of instruments uh -huh. that exist, and also nice. how they got made the way they are. Right, right. Um, and how do you bring in the physics of it? I mean, that's what's sort of interesting too, like how you talk about the sort of physics of vibrations and, and whatever else that you, you talk about. Yeah, both as the Beach Boys and Marky Mark yeah. talked about, and it's all about good <laughs> right. vibrations. Yeah, right. excellent. <laughs> and so, uh, and physics physicists love vibrations, things that oscillate back and forth. Sure. And there are good models to describe things that bounce back and forth, yeah. whether it's air molecules or a reed on a clarinet, right, a string right. on a guitar. Sure. So we take lots of those models, and there are good models for them uh, that have been around for, in some cases, hundreds of years, and right. apply that back to instruments that are mostly modern day, but some, nice. some older nice. ones. Well, I was telling you earlier that I was at, in the commons out in the atrium um, last Friday, and we sort of heard this strange sound, <laughs> and we were trying to decide whether it was, you know, sounding after a bagpipe or after a didgeridoo or, you know, something, and the young man came in, and he pulled, he was pulling out of his backpack all these PVC parts that he started fitting together. Can you tell me a little bit more about what the students were doing, creating their own sound? Yeah, sure. So the last big thrust of the class is to get them to design their own experiment, execute mm -hmm. it, and then talk about mm -hmm. it, both for the aesthetic beauty in the music, but mm -hmm. also the physical principles yeah, that went yeah. into their design. Okay. So they're on a sort of a two-week project now where they're doing exactly that, and they get to select their own instrument they want to build. Yeah, yeah. And so we've got everything from, uh, we've got the PVC pan pipes going. Mm -hmm. We've got a banjo made from a springform cheesecake pan. <laughs> cool. <laughs> yeah. Duct tape bagpipes with also PVC. <clears throat> so there's uh, steel drum. So yeah. A, a wide array of instruments that 
yeah. hark back to the principles we talked about. Sure. And sense. then do they have sort of a class performance or something that they'll do to sort of show that to each other? Or I mean, it'd be, I could imagine some fun things where they could get together and sort of jam together somehow. Yeah, I've half jokingly yeah. said, let's see a 15 piece <laughs> <laughs> orchestra going through everywhere. Sure. We'll leave the great hall on the side so right. we get out to Cannon Green. Uh, yeah, that would be fun. Uh, but we, we'll, uh, no, seriously, we will have the, the communication parts, one of the yeah. really big sure. pieces to emphasize. Yeah, and yeah. they will present. So they will them. present to each other and, and, uh, and do that. Yeah. Yep. Awesome. Yeah. And so, how is this, do you think, and the experience for you um, and them, um, you know, maybe change the way that they look at things? And the, and the world around them. Yeah, so uh, especially for those coming from, everyone in the class has a really strong musical background. Right. And a lot of them, have, I think, have a, a newfound appreciation for why they hear what they hear sure. from a musical aspect. Right. Um, so that's one good one, just to augment their musical understanding of their instrument. Sure. And the other thing I hope they leave with is that the models that we build and then test against their instruments, right. they can actually do it. They're actually very, very good at this. And yeah. just the general notion they can think, do, and, and talk yeah, science. Right, right. Excellent. That's great. What a, I mean, it's a great takeaway and kind of all, you know, what you had hoped to, to take from the class. Well, well, tell me about some of your favorite moments. I mean, <laughs> what are the things for you that have been, you know, kind of fun or impactful or, or meaningful about what you've sure. been doing? Yeah, there are many that come to mind, uh, a few yeah. that really come to the forefront. Yeah. Um, the last, the, the last sort of formal lab that we do together, mm -hmm. they are tasked with picking up various kinds of instruments or playing an instrument in a different way. Mm -hmm. Something they know, so it could be comparing two guitars that they have back in their room, right. or playing a different style, sort of a slap bass style versus uh, another just sort of uh, with a standard guitar pick. Right. And everyone knows they sound different, and they basically tasked with the question of go find out why they sound different. Right, right. So they do an experiment, come back, describe it. And almost always, it's the first time their mind's sort of blown in the class. Yeah. They look yeah. at the different frequencies and the different mix of the mm -hmm. harmonic series that gets generated. Right. right. And they have something instantly to point to and yeah. say, aha, I, uh -huh. I finally got what all That's this great. build up was That's about. That's really great. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. And one of my other, two of my other favorite moments there's one um, student who built a uh, cigar box guitar last year. Okay. So it's something that she knew from her grandfather because uh -huh. it's sort of an older <laughs> instrument. Right. Uh, and has this beautiful, beautiful slide guitar sound to it, and a wonderful suit, a little bit on the shy side the whole mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. Very good student, and yeah. she played Amazing Grace on it for the oh, last. Oh, beautiful. And oh, it was wonderful. Amazing. She got done yeah. and looked up and just had the biggest smile on her face. That's great. So. Yeah, sounds beautiful. Very meaningful for them as well. Now, were they, will they do any of the spring festival where they show off some of their instruments or do anything like that at the festival? Oh, um, not necessarily. <laughs> I don't have that really, just for each <laughs> other. Yeah, for each it's other. more sort of for each other. It sounds like it's a, a good group, like kind of close group that they're willing to kind of put themselves out there in some ways. For, yeah, for a lot of camaraderie sure. gets yeah. built up over two, two weeks in the lab plus two yeah. weeks on their own instruments. Right. So. Excellent. Well, John, thank you. Is there anything else that you want to add about sort of the you know, spring term for you and the importance of what you get to do? Yeah, yeah. Um, it's a really great opportunity for me to work with sort of a different population of students. I love all the yeah. physics and engineering yeah. majors I get, but uh, it's the first time that of the year that I get a brand new population of students, yeah. and it's four weeks for them to help, I hope, sort of open up a brand new frontier for them. Right. Uh, they often come in a little bit, a little bit shaky, a little bit nervous, sure. and they just need a little encouragement. Um, and so within four weeks' time, I've seen them go from nervous, not quite sure how to do it, to really, right. really competent, really yeah. qualified at, at doing yeah. physics and music, and hopefully it's something they'll extend to. Yeah, that's great. And that sounds on. from your background, too, like, you know, connecting the physics and the music was such an important part of your life, too. So yeah. thank you. And it's great that you get a chance to, to share that with others. So yeah. thank you again for, for being with us today. And, and thanks again to everyone who's been watching. I mean, we've really enjoyed getting to talk to our spring term faculty, and we appreciate your watching. Thank you.